Hi everyone, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to show you the newest feature that we've just launched in the platform, something that you've probably never seen anywhere else. It's called the Smart Checklist. Before I show it to you, think to yourself, how often do you look at a chart and then you try to remember everything that you want to check on it? And then you have to go through and make sure to look at your various indicators, your various patterns, look at price action. You know, go through a mental checklist as you're checking a chart. That's exactly what this feature is designed to make easier for you. It is a programmable checklist that can check any conditions across any time frames on every symbol you pull up and do it in real time for you so you can just see the results. So let me show you how it works. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an a, a script. This is going to tell the smart checklist what exactly we want to do, what we're looking for. So I'm going to click scripts at the very top and I'm going to click add new. And here we can add any conditions, right? So for example, I might be interested if the daily RSI is greater than a constant value of 70. I may be interested if uh, the five minute EMA 20 is greater than the five minute EMA 30, right? So I may set that up there. I may be interested if this company that I'm looking at a, a, a stock for has recently experienced a dividend X date. So I can set that up and I can say within the last 30 days. And I may be definitely interested if the company has earnings coming up within the next 30, 60 days or 30 days or any number of days. You kind of get the idea here. You can keep adding different things that you're interested in. And you can keep combining things and, you know, building out a checklist that looks at all the conditions that you would look at when you're pulling up a chart. Then you can give it a quick name. Let's call it example 555 and we can press save. Okay, so now that we've created what we want to look for, we're going to now add the smart checklist to our sidebar and we're going to configure it. And then I'll go back in there and show you some more examples of it in action. So what I did here is I clicked on sidebar on the very top. I'll redo it for you. And I clicked on add and remove widgets. Then I went down to the very bottom and I clicked on add widget here. And I selected smart checklist, which I'll add it to my screen here. And then I'm gonna simply click done. That will put the smart checklist window on my screen. I still have to tell it what checklist to use. So that's what this choose script button at the very top here is for. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna select the example 555 that we just created and I'm gonna click select this template on the bottom left corner. That will now load my smart checklist here, which will tell me if any of the conditions on this checklist are true in the moment in time that I'm looking at this chart. As I flip through different symbols in my watch list, it's gonna automatically check everything in the smart checklist against that symbol. Now, here's another thing that you need to know about this. First off, there's two options within this, three really. The first one is current candle. This is very similar to the same checkbox in the scanner. It will tell the smart checklist whether to pay attention to today's candle or the current open five minute candle or whatever candle is currently open when generating these uh, results for you. If it is not checked, it will look at the most recent closed candle, which since it's a daily chart and it's after hours when I'm making this video, wouldn't change anything right now. But if the market was open, it would. It would cause it to use yesterday's candle instead of today's. Secondly, you have the option to use extended hours. Extended hours will bring in aftermarket pre and post session data when calculating all the conditions for this. So if you want to incorporate that, you have the option to do that. Finally, you can use uh, the script against any different chart type. So if you want to use a set of conditions on a range drop chart when you're looking at candles, you definitely can do that or vice versa. You have the flexibility to select that right here and there. So that's the basics of it. Every time you want to refresh it, when you have a chart open, just click the refresh button. It'll automatically refresh when you change symbols. So it's automatically up to date as you pull up each symbol that you're looking at. And keep in mind, these are just, that was just a very simple example. There are much more complex ones. So I'm going to show you a few other things you can do with this that are really cool. The first script I'm going to show you is an example for the strat traders. Um, strat traders are looking for something called full time frame continuity, which means that the 
candles on four separate time frames are all pointing in the same direction. This example looks for bullish full time frame continuity, and you can select that, and it'll tell you if price on the asset you're looking for has been going up on the 65 minute, on the daily, weekly, and monthly time frames in one click glance. Um, and as you kind of click around, you might find one where it's true, and you'll see when all four of the conditions are true, then the bar uh, outside of them will be true as well. That's very powerful because it saves you from having to check four separate charts in one quick thing. It just puts it on your screen, and you can make it display anything you can dream of. Here's an example of something that maybe somebody somewhere is dreaming of. We call this a complex example, so it's just an example that contains all kinds of different conditions. But just to illustrate how flexible this is, you can really have a check for anything. This particular set looks for earnings. It looks for a whole bunch of candlestick patterns. It looks for different indicators to do different things, right? It ha uh, incorporates multiple time frames, four different time frames here. So just keep that in mind because this is something, once you get the hang of it, it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the feature. There's a lot more to come where this came from. But for now, that's all I have. Thank you for watching my video and have a great night. Take care.